So Nomad's getting updated all the time again now. The developer's doing a fantastic job with adding new features. So one of the features I want to show you is the ability to change the profile inside some of the tools. So we'll take a look at the tube tool and you'll see how flexible this has become. Okay, so let's find the tube tool first of all. I've left the, the sphere in the scene for now. So let's just look down our list here. If you can't find it, just tap it like uh, at the top corner and it'll go into this sort of shape for you. And then what you want is tube. And then we want to come to the side or the front here and hold down this button to lock it. So now we can move around like so. Uh, I've left the grid on, which is here, so you can really see what I'm doing. And actually now if I've said that, I'm actually going to delete that sphere so now we can start so go to path and b spline and what we'll do is we'll start dragging out a line like that so i've done one end and another end like so and if i tap this green button we get our tube so that that's pretty much exactly what we're used to um you know right from the the beginning of when this tool was was introduced if i tap in the middle i get another one and i can bend this tool around so that's that's really cool let me just force paint it bright orange and now i've got that um i can unlock it so now i can roll around with this button on the side i can increase the tool i can in increase the size of the the, the cylinder in and out like that and still roll it around like that so it's already super useful it's you know it really is a nice a nice tool straight away out of the box if you come up to the top here and hit radius one more time you get a change of radius from one end to the other so this is how we can make tentacles so this is i've done this video loads and loads of times um, and it's super useful for nice organic pieces like that. You could make it a bit more hard surface by tapping it and making it an angle like so. So if you want to do lightning bolts and things like that, that's a good way of doing it. But there are more, there, there are more features in there uh, than, than that. So one, for example, is we could tap radius again, and that will allow us to increase the radius just on one part of the, the, the sweep. So that gets really useful when you want to make things like limbs. So if you wanted to make um, crab claws or any, anything like that that's organic. But we don't want organic. What we want in this video is hard surface, so hard edged things. So what we can do is we can change. Uh, let me undo what I've just done. So I go back to having just the sweep like so. Bring it down here like that. And then in here, you've now got a profile. And if you bring this profile out and you tap your little um, pin button, that means it stays open. Now, what that profile is giving you is the ability to change the shape of this tube. So you can see already the four corners of the tube are here and it's giving you four edges like, oh, sorry, four, four corners like you can see it better on that end. Now, let's put grid on. Uh, sorry, let's put um, wireframe on and we'll have a look at what's happening underneath the surface. So the grid around or the mesh around the, the model itself is predictable and the end has got this kind of triangulated uh, affair, which is why you're getting this fracturing at the end. So let's play around with the geometry a little bit before we do anything else. So if you come up to the top here, and you go into this panel here, it's the fourth one along, look down under primitive here and you've got tube topology. So you can increase the amount of spans there or reduce them down to literally cubes. So this makes it almost like a low poly model now. So that's one thing you can do. I'll pin this one open as well so we can really see what's going on. And then you could do this, you could unlink it and that means you can do um, both angles so you can increase the division on X and you can increase the division on Y so you could get a really high res um, quite sharp edged because if you subdivide it with this amount of polygons it will keep quite a hard you know a, a nice hard edge on it um, so that's one thing you can do but the really cool thing now is we can change this profile so if you just turn wireframe off we'll leave it high res like that so it's it, you know it's it's looking quite good um, we'll turn wireframe off and we'll change the profile. So I'll add a point there and a point there, another one and another one. And if I bring this down like this, like so, what you've got now is a channel. Now, if you look underneath, 
or at the side, you can see it's giving you a channel. So you can make really complex, you know, components just with this. So you could do another couple and you could make like a closed channel like this. You can see it, it's like a, a, a railway or it could be it could be anything you want, really. But th this profile is going to give you the ability to really start making complex organic, uh, sorry, hard surface shapes as well as the organic, because obviously we're, we're focusing on hard surface here. What you can do now is um, you can still change all of your sizes. You can add and remove points and scale them on the individual points. So, again, you could get really complex with that. What you can also do is this, you can hit twist once and what twist will do is if you take it to the far end, so come to, to this end here where the purple or the purple button is and if you start twisting, you'll see it, it, it basically is, is twisting down the entire length. But if you tap it again and now twist, what you'll get is this. So you can make really nice complex organic shapes. So if you think about what's happening now, you can still change your profile here. You can eat and delete them if you want. So we can go back to something that's a bit more crazy, something like that. You can then twist and keep twisting all the way down the length. And you, you know you can you, you can make rope. You can make um, um, more sci-fi sci looking things by you know by playing with 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 these profiles here. And what you can also do is go a third one. And what your third one will do, if I just tap on do with those, everything that I've just done for a second, but show you this now with three taps, you can just twist at one individual part. So you could put one here and just twist that one. So again, this is getting really complex. If you're getting into things like, um, you know, robotic parts and parts to go into a, a vehicle that, that needs specific twists and kinks in it, then this is the thing that you need. And also you can still tap and make those hard edged. So it's really up to you to start thinking about how this, you know, this can affect your work because I, I can't give you the, the end result, but I, you know, I can give you an indication of where I would use it. And things like this on the robot that we showed is where I would go a little bit crazy with it. So here's our robot back and here's our channel that we just built and maybe we want to use it as part of the leg. So we'll move it to say this leg, scale it down, bring it in here. So if you tap on the tube now and go to make sure gizmo is tapped and then you can go and do all of the things that we just showed. So you can still fully edit everything that I've done. So you can, for example, scale the whole thing down I'll bring it into position over here. I'll delete that one by bringing one to the other, put this one inside the leg, tap it to make it black, and then maybe what we'll do is we'll change this to a gray, change the metalness and the roughness a little bit, and then force paint it, and now we've got like a channel bar, something like that, and bring that into the middle, like so and then scale it again, and then bring it in like that. And then I can start making channeling that will be used in this, you know, the, the, the mechanics of how this robot actually works. So you can make really complex shapes that are still fully editable. You can still tweak them around because of this profile set in here. Um, and, and basically what you can keep doing is just adjusting it until you're ready to validate and finish it. Um, and that includes all of it, the size, the scale. You can even go, right, I want to add in four more and bring them in and do it like that. So you're putting handrails on it. Um, uh, you could do the, uh, well, you could do all you could do all kinds. I think really at this point, it's up to you to go and have a go of it. Um, but that's how you can make really complex parts just by using the tube tool with that new profile, which is, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the newer features and probably one of the, you know, basically one of my new favorites. I do like that ability there where you can put it in the viewport. 
So if you tap it there, you can literally change the shape from within the, the, the document, which is actually quite nice. I don't use that a lot yet, but I did like that feature. So have a go with that. Let me know how you get on. Show me what you've done on Instagram or here on YouTube in the comments. And let's see what you can come up with uh, with these new features that our amazing developer has given to us. I hope you're enjoying these videos. And if you are, please give us a thumbs up as it does help us to get in front of other people who might like this kind of content. And if you're liking the video enough to give it a like, well, why not subscribe to the channel? We try and help people create things in new and innovative ways. And hopefully we can help you. Have a great week.